What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm at SEMA in Las Vegas. And if you don't know, this is the uh, biggest automotive trade show in America and probably in the world. So, let's go inside, take a look around. See what we can see. What is cool, what's not so cool. Just geek out in general. All right, let's go for a ride. Here we go. This is what you expect from SEMA, over the top and insane. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's got the uh, snow tracks on there. Kelderman. It's got like a, almost like a snow or a winter camo. Then you got two snowmobiles on the back. Man, you could have a blast with this thing in the winter time. I'm at the rigid booth at SEMA because of this early 90s Toyota 4Runner V6. As you can see, it's got some bullet holes in it. You may have heard about these guys. Fieldcraft Survival um, was uh, created by two former Army Green Beret Special Forces guys. Mike Glover and Kurt Hohan. Hopefully I'm saying their names right. And uh, they worked with Rigid to uh, do a promo video for their company. And uh, they basically simulated um, an attack. Uh, they're out in the back country. Some bad guys jump out of the bushes and attack them. And they've got bullet holes all over this thing. A couple shots with double op buck. You can see the pellets in the windows. A couple shots here. I think those are slugs. Nice and big. And then the uh, light bar took a hit right there took a hit but the lights kept running the ones that weren't hit kept running so it's a good example of how rugged these are sometimes when you break the circuits on these um, electronics the whole thing just shuts down theirs kept running so that's pretty cool look at this uh, Chevy Colorado at the Tuffy security products booth Fab Force bumper actually looks really good on this truck Got like that uh, stealth fighter kind of angle thing going on. Looks really good on there. It's got some fender flares. So Tuffy products, they make security boxes. See that right there? So this is under the rear seat. You can store a rifle in there. Obviously uh, anything you want really, but I'm looking at it from a firearms point of view. You can lock it up 16 gauge steel too And it just hides right underneath the seat Some of you guys know about these guys. Maybe you haven't heard of them, but they're called go light You can mount this pretty much anywhere on your vehicle for the most part And the cool thing about this is it's a remote control light So if you want to look at something to the left or right from inside your vehicle You can just move it around Look at that you can go up and down so you can pinpoint where you need your light to go and it's all remote control too you can even adjust the speed so if you want to go slow or fast you can change it that's fast and then here's the the turtle speed for slow that's cool so you put one in the front one in the back and you pretty much got everything covered that's nice all right Go for it. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm at the Anzo USA booth. Look at this. This is beautiful. Ford F350 with a utility box in the back. This one has the any level lift kit that you can control with your cell phone. That's awesome. I'm really liking these utility uh, truck beds. Just a gazillion places to put your stuff. Yeah, you can still put stuff back here too. Man, he's got a humongous winch on the back. I don't ever... I don't remember ever seeing such a huge winch on the back of a truck, but this one makes sense since it's a service truck. Might have to pull somebody out of a ditch or something, you never know. Mm 
Love it. I'm at the Yakima booth at SEMA. All the cars get the attention at this show, but you know what? You need accessories to carry all your stuff, and Yakima makes tons of accessories. Check out this trailer. It's basically a kayak trailer, but you can also carry bikes. We got a hard shell cargo, roof cargo rack system thing up here. Got all these different racks. There's a bike rack for you cyclists. Here's that low profile uh, truck bed rack system. And then here's the one that you can adjust. You can make it go up or down. That's cool. Adjustable. Nice awning. By the way, here's a nice Tacoma. In that uh, cement gray, I think it is. Little thin racks there, just big enough for your bags. And then uh, on the other side is a bike rack. Look at that. See, this is a good example of how much stuff you can put on here. Fuel packs, extra water, rooftop tent. Look at this thing. So in your hitch, this thing unfolds and comes out so you can get access to the truck bed. And your bikes are still secured. That's cool. Look at this one. So if you don't want your bikes on your roof, and you don't want them horizontal, you can go vertical. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that's a quick flyby of the Yakima booth at SEMA. Looks like they got some new stuff going on back here. They got like a grandstand we can go check out. Let's go up there and take a look and see what's going on here. Oh, I see. So they got like a speed track on the outside and they got a dirt track on the inside. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Guys, I'm gonna ride the brand new Kia Telluride SUV. They got an off-road track out here, mud, sand, hills. All right, I got my three people. All right, so you guys, follow me. Follow me. All right, you're gonna go in the front. You awesome. two guys in the back. All right. Let's go right. straight to the front. All right. Hey guys, I'm Dan. Hi Dan. Nice to meet you. Hey. How you doing, Dan? Right, right. right. I'm liking this interior already. Look it is, it's super nice. comfy, isn't it? We got some good shocks on here. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Coming around through the sand. At the top of the hill, we're gonna pause up here. You guys can wave to everybody, get up, get all your pics. Look down on the drift for the stinger. What kind of right. engine does this have? What? What kind of engine? V6. Okay, everybody ready? Oh yeah. Here we go, we're flying. Get some air here. Yeah! <laughs> right. Woo. So here it is. This is the uh, Kia Telluride. I uh, rode in this thing on the uh, off-road course yesterday. This one's really customized though this is definitely not the factory vehicle this one's been basically built for the uh, New York Fashion Week so it has uh, a lot of stuff on here that you would norm not normally see on a, on a vehicle so they put a little bull bar in the front it's got a winch in there I don't even know if that's a real winch I think it's a fake winch because I see like rope it's just rope I think it's just for looks. <laughs> That's funny. It's got some LED lights. And then uh, you got a snorkel here. This is actually leather wrapped. So that won't last too long in the real world. Beautiful leather on the inside though. 
I do like how the uh, air intake sucks from the back. So when there's dust flying over here, get a lot less dust going in there. I do like that. It's got a wooden roof rack. Again, this is built for New York Fashion Week. Definitely not built for real world off-roading. There's not even a lift on it. It's got this uh, ladder here so you can reach your fancy luggage. And then there's a leather strap spare tire in the back, which is probably not the same size as these tires. It's way skinnier, it's just for looks. Matter of fact, it blocks the view of the driver. You can't even see out the back window. But again, this is just for show, just to show off at Fashion Week, probably to show off to a bunch of people in New York that never go off-roading. All right, so I, I found a Tacoma that just literally Whew. Knock my socks off, man. This thing is nice. This is by TacomaBeast.com, I think. I see it on the back there. But uh, let's take a closer look at this thing because it is absolutely gorgeous. Check out the armor on this thing. Wow. CBI armor, man. These guys are killing it, man. That is awesome. Mickey Thompson's. You can't follow that your uh, ditch lights. Man, I love these rock sliders. Look at that. Get a good shot of these rock sliders. So you can actually step on these as steps and also use them as rock sliders for when your truck lands on a big ass boulder. That's cool. It's not even crazy lifted either. That's the thing I like about it. It's like you could use this as a daily driver. You could fit into drive throughs and parking garages because it's not very tall. That's where these uh, these bed cages come in handy. They can lower your platform so you can keep your rooftop tent on as a daily driver and the wind kind of just blows over the top. So that's the big complaint with a lot of people is that they don't like the uh, ladder underneath this uh, vinyl. It, it becomes a big huge obstacle in the wind but if you get a lower bed cage you can kind of bypass that problem again here's why i like cbi if i build me a tacoma i'm definitely going with cbi the bumper goes all the way to the wheel so if a rock comes up bam you're protected man that's so cool you got your high left, high left jack your auto packs full spare swing away man that is beautiful So here's a little rock sore that's been customized. That is cool. I knew I was going to see something like this at SEMA eventually. It's got crazy axles in here. Hydraulic assist steer. Stinger bumper. Got a worn winch. Adjustable coilovers. Those wheels. Hutchison wheels. These are the uh, bead locks that are street legal. BF Goodrich. Those are what? 30, 39s. Yeah, 39 inch wheels or tires. And they beefed up the, uh, the frame on this one so you can bash on some rocks. Must be relatively easy to customize these things though, because they are based off of a, a Jeep. The uh, the plans that they use to build these things are literally the same ones they use for years. They're licensed to use the Jeep uh, design. This is badass. This is that uh, prototype Polaris military vehicle I saw last year. So I think the whole mindset behind this was is they wanted a four wheel drive. Um, utility vehicle that you could fit inside of a, a transport helicopter. You could fly this thing around. It's lightweight, a lot lighter than an armored vehicle, like a Hummer or a MRAP. You know, this is really, really light. It's tiny. It's it's a side-by-side -side basically, but beefed up. So notice the stance on this thing. It's actually got kind of a squat to it, which is pretty cool. Definitely different. 
And if you don't know, Hummers have the portal axles. So you got crazy, crazy good ratios for crawling. I'm at the truckairbeds.com booth. If you don't know these guys, um, they make beds that you can throw into the back of your truck, like that one over there. Then they got new ones here with uh, SUVs. And they're even making tents now. This is our Airbeds original. So it's just the toughest one as well? It is. Yeah, awesome. Can you go ahead and just tell me about sure. it, by the way, since what's, I got you? What's unique about our mattress on the back side of the cutouts for the wheel wells. Yeah. It not only allows you to go around the wheel wells, but over top of the wheel wells. Nice. Creating a sleep area that utilizes the entire bed of your truck. Nice. The mattress comes complete with a built-in pump that both inflates. Oh, nice. As well as deflates. <laughs> the pump operates off a detachable rechargeable battery carry bag is included bag to bed fully inflates two and a half to three and a half minutes depending upon the application of your truck long bed or short bed layout nice i'm at the auto home booth and uh they make all kinds of uh rooftop tents here's a folding version and then here's the hard shell version it's kind of nice i'm really leaning towards these because they just pop up in like 10 seconds and you're ready to camp I like that. I mean, these are fast too, but these are really durable. Check this one out. Defender. Land Rover Defender. These things have been all around the world. And look at that air top. It's like a clubhouse or a treehouse kind of thing. The little kid in you would love to stay up in there, right? Look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. Magiolina. That thing is humongous. That's awesome. I love it. I could probably fit my whole family in there. That's very cool. You'd have to have a full-size truck or something. But it's nice that that's an option. I like it. And then look at this. This one's got a lot of headroom. Tons of headroom. So this is for the person who uh, just wants to be super quick and fast. Just boop, pop it up and go to sleep. But you still have a lot of headroom up there. Can I um, climb on the ladder and look up there? Sure, go ahead. Oh, awesome. Let's take a peek and see. So you got these little ladders here. Look at that. You put your feet down there, and you got tons of headroom. Look at that. There's an LED light up there. Another window so you can get cross breeze. It's got a bug screen. This is nice. Simple and effective. And look, you can see how small the vehicle is. It's not the biggest vehicle in the world. Two-door Land Cruiser, and it fits perfectly up there. You just have to have a rack. Very nice. Wow, check this out. So this is the new Ford Ranger, but this one's been beat up a little bit. But it, I think, is officially the most customized, built-up Ford Ranger at SEMA. For one, it has a solid axle conversion. They took out the independent suspension and put a solid axle. I think it's a Dana. Adjustable coilovers. These are Fox as well with uh, reservoirs. That's cool. Oh, it is Dana. Yeah. I just heard somebody say it's sponsored by Dana. Two bumper, skid plate, one winch, bunch of LEDs. Got a hood scoop there, probably supercharged or turbo or something. <laughs> Lifted, of course. Oh yeah, there's the Dana logo right there for the rock sliders. Oh, they got fully tubed on the inside though. Look at that, a roll cage on the inside. Oh, it's right-hand drive. This is from another country, maybe Australia. Look at this uh, truck bed cage. Rigid Industries LEDs. Some Roto packs, ARB rooftop tent, a whole bunch of LEDs back there, full size spare. I like how it's lifted up so you can still store stuff on the bottom. I think that's a ARB cooler in the back. I live jack. Check these uh, recovery ramps out. I haven't seen these before. 
Maybe they're um, custom made for these guys. I don't know who makes them. It's got an A on there. I don't know who makes those. All right, so I'm at the Matt Tracks booth at SEMA. They got a couple new products. Look at this. So they have a mini, this is like a miniature version of the big one here. So this is for your Jeeps and trucks and all that good stuff. But for ATVs and side-by-sides and stuff like that, smaller vehicles, these are a little bit more appropriate. You can carry these a lot easier. But if you wanted to carry this on your truck or whatever, your Jeep, you can link two of these together and you can even nest this inside. Maybe you mind if I borrow you? They actually fit inside there like that and you can nest them together. So here it is again, the Resvani. This is that uh, full custom Jeep, actually. Believe it or not, this is actually built off of a, a Jeep Wrangler. I thought it was actually a FJ, but it's, it's a Jeep Wrangler. Look at that, that is cool. I like that. I think I gotta get one of these. It looks like a lot of fun. You can even carry two people. Look, it has pegs on the back, so you can carry a second person. Nice, big, comfy seat. Handlebars look tall enough to be uh, relatively comfortable. You can adjust them, too. There's like little adjusters right here. I like it. These guys pretty much corner the market on um, these jacks, high lift jacks. I really don't know anybody else who makes these jacks. They're like the go-to products. But uh, if you're wondering, yeah, sometimes when you're off-road, you can't put a regular jack underneath your lifted vehicle because the thing's so big. You gotta use a high lift jack. You can hook this onto your wheel, lift your vehicle up, maybe put some tracks underneath it or some trees or rocks or whatever underneath it. Or to fix something, you gotta have a high lift jack. Check out this Series 80 Land Cruiser. That's the one everybody loves right there. Solid axles, ARB bumper, snorkel. Oh, look at that James Baru tent. That thing is huge. That must be the uh, the big one. Adventure-ready.com. Cam seat wheels. Nice little lift. I like it. <laughs> Even as a bottle opener on the back. Jerry can holder. Matt tracks. What's up, man? Love your ride. Thanks. That's cool. So look at this. This is a Scout International. This is a Scout 2 International. I've said this before, but I grew up with one of these Scout 2s, yeah. This thing is nice, man. Look at this. What's under the hood? A supercharged LSA. Nice. Check out this crazy Jeep. It's got the Fab Fours. It's like a grumper and fender combo in the front. You know, when you come to see me, you expect to see the, the best of the best million dollar vehicles, but look at this. This one's a vehicle that's been wrecked. They're basically showing off how the ranch hand uh, bumper protected this vehicle. That's insane. Holy crap, look at this Mercedes cargo van. This thing is lifted with solid axles, humongous wheels. Oh my god, it even has bead locks. Humongous fenders. This is what I'm talking about. That is the baddest cargo van I've ever seen. A company called Cliff Ride. Never heard of these guys before. They got these uh, rooftop tents that are built into the roof that are actually part of the vehicle you can't take them off not easily anyways you just pop the roof up kind of like the old uh, vw westphalias remember those same kind of concept all right let's look inside here so there's your hatch in the back of the jeep That's cool. And uh, the bonus part with these things is that they're super low profile. Once you put them down, they're basically aerodynamic for the most part. 
and they're really durable. You got a hard shell roof, so if it starts raining or hail storming on you, you're good to go. That is nice. Look at this thing. This one is like a, I guess it's fiberglass. Some kind of fiberglass sh shell that you put onto your Jeep. So you can turn your Jeep into a little mini RV. I'm at the Addictive Desert Designs off-road booth. And look at this. It's for all you Toyota Tundra guys. Look at that. That is a beast. That is beautiful. For one, I like the, uh, the desert sand or quick sand color. I really like that color. Some people don't like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And they got a lot going on here. But uh, the thing that really caught my eye on this one is uh, something I've seen before. This is the simulated MRAP wheels by uh, Black Rhino. They're not really MRAP wheels, but they're made to look like MRAP wheels. It's just a cool look. It's really tough. I'm at the Line X booth. Check this out. This is a huge Dodge truck. Gotta love Dodge. They, uh, they got the Cummins turbo diesel engines in here. Monster power. Tons of torque. But this one's cool. It's got a green, OD green Line X on here. It's just like a custom paint job. Sure. Just so like a paint job. A custom paint job. And this is not Bedliner product. Right? This is Line oh, X Ultra. It's not the Bedliner. No. Oh, okay. So this is a new, and I call it revolutionary. What is it? Thinner? It's is thinner it? and it's oh, just okay. as tough, right? So we yeah. did, so part of what I do, right? The innovation side of it. So yeah. we formulate all the coatings. And this is after four years of testing. Oh, wow. Uh, we released it. We did the Raptor last year. Mm -hmm. We did some stuff even before that on the, the trial level, but now we're full commercial now. I'm at the Warren booth. Check out this uh, brand new Jeep JL. And it's been stretched, man. This thing is long. Pretty nuts. Of course, they got their newest uh, worn winch on the front here. The stubby bumper. Check out the uh, link. It's called the Sidewinder. That's pretty cool. They got all kinds of cool stuff on here. Look at these um, hyperlinks. They're calling these hyperlinks. Yeah, this thing is kind of like uh, a desert chase vehicle. There's the whip flags. Now oh, this is cool. Check out this uh, winch on the back. All right, so check it out. I'm at the uh, Warrior Products booth. These guys are out of Oregon. Tons and tons of stuff for Jeeps. Look at this. Let's just try to fly around and spot everything. So here's their little stubby front bumper. Wow, this has got a lot going on here. So they have little cutouts so you can use your high lift jack to lift your Jeep up. See that? Little cutouts right there. All right, so here's something you guys got to look at here. So I was talking about how you can put your high lift jack here to lift your Jeep up. You can also pop a drink right there too. Pretty cool. So another thing that they make, it's actually not even out yet really. I mean, they're working on it. But if, if you look there, uh, Subaru Outback. They're making a roof rack for Subaru Outbacks because a lot of people are camping and overlanding with their Subarus and uh, there's not a lot of options so they're making a rooftop rack. Alright so I'm at the Cooper Tires booth and they got an awesome Ford truck over here and what really caught my eye is the fact that they have this ARE truck cap that's on these lifts. There's like these actuators that push the entire cap up and turns your truck cap into basically a camper. It's got this canvas uh, material that is made by Topper Lift. And if you look in here, it's pretty nuts. They have this um, cargo bed kind of thing set up here and you pull these things out and they have it set up for a sink with water. It's like pressurized water. They got an electric stove here. That is nice. And these just slide in and out. These are by Decked. So they slide in and out. And then you have a, a bed right there that also slides in and out. I see a little holder for an iPad. <laughs> that is really nice. LED lights in there. This is really cool. It's super, super compact. It's tiny. Wow, look at this. Toyota Tacoma. Look at that tent. Wow, I like that. Camp King. 
Rooftop tent. I've never heard of these guys. That is cool. It's like super beefy. I mean, aluminum floor with an aluminum roof. Man, that thing looks almost bulletproof. <laughs> nice big screen on the side to let the uh, air flow through. Really big awning up here. Man, that's cool. I like that. What's up, guys? I'm at the ESCO booth at SEMA. Check this out. Tell everybody who you are and what you got, man. I'm Steve Dyer, president of ESCO. Here we have our revolutionary new mini lift. It's a two and a half ton pneumatic lift. Uh, it'll, work, it'll lift just about anything out there. Right now I'm lifting a Hyundai that I'm lifting from the pinch welds here. Um, what I'm gonna do, I've already got the back end up in the air. I'm gonna lower it down to show you how it lowers. And then I'm gonna bring the front end right back up so you can see how, how it raises. So there's a pivot point where it just flops. Huh? Yeah. So now I'm, I brought it down. A... Oh, look at that. So you just now went from the rear up to the front up, just like front, that. Just like that. You just have to find your balance you point. find that balancing point if I want to do that kind of maneuver. That is awesome. I'm at the Honda booth at SEMA. And I love this bike. I really want to buy this thing. Honda, Africa Twin, made legendary in the uh, late 80s. That is a beautiful bike, man. Look at that thing. Look at this one right here. This is badass. This is the uh, Monkey, right? I believe that's the Monkey right there. Yep. It's the Honda Monkey 125cc. Check out this. Uh, basically, it's an off-road vehicle, like a ATV, really. <laughs> this thing is monstrous. It almost reminds me of a Can-Am Maverick, because those Mavericks are huge. This is a concept vehicle. So if you haven't figured it out yet, although it looks like a ATV, like a big humongous ATV, it's not. It's actually a Ridgeline truck that's been stripped down to look like an ATV. That's awesome, man. And I'm now at the Toyota booth. They got a lot of cars here, so uh, let's take a tour of the entire booth at Toyota. Toyota Tundra Platinum. Oh, it says Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Personal project and play vehicle for Kevin Costner. <laughs> Interesting. This is one seriously nice Toyota 4Runner. It's got a bull bar in the front, winch, got some skid plates, Icon wheels with bead locks, Icon suspension, Vision X, LEDs, Rhino Rack roof rack. I don't know who makes these rock sliders. James Berude rooftop tent, and I like that. Quick and easy. Pop it up, go to sleep. It's got a tire carrier that plugs into your hitch. That's nice. Wilco, I saw this on that Subaru out front. So you don't have to buy a whole entire new bumper to run your sprayer on the back like this. Just buy their kit, plug it into your hitch, and now you have a full-size spare out from underneath the bottom out in the back and then you can also carry your uh, high lift jack as well and then this guy has an adventure trailer on the back here this guy is all set up man look at that tons of gear you can carry underneath here propane for cooking it's got cargo space for a inflatable boat maybe so you got um, outlets for power at all these tie down points matching wheels to the vehicle nice and then this one has a rhino rack as well with another james berude <laughs> rooftop tent but this one's even bigger check it out 
I'm at the Baja Designs booth. These guys make LED lights. And the funny thing is, is it seems like 95% of all the uh, off-road vehicles run Baja Design LEDs. So it's kind of fitting that I'm at the Baja Designs booth. SEMA's all about the big, expensive million dollar vehicles, but it's also about the small stuff. So I got Chris here. Tell me what you got, man. What's going on? Uh, well, we're with Come Up Winch, probably the oldest winch company you've never heard of. We're building <laughs> winches for about the last 45 years. Since 1975, right? We do yeah. anything from small uh, ATV, UTV winches all the way up to kind of our rock star of the lineup here, the Blazer. All right, let, let's start from the small one and work our way up. The small one in the in the UTV units, um, and as the manufacturer, we do truly build the motors, the gear sets, the brake assemblies. We do manufacture all the key components in these. Our Cub Series, we offer two, three, and four thousand pound units available for uh, ATV and UTV use. In our so like Seal Gen 2 Waterproof Series, we go from 9,500 pound to uh, 16.5. Wow. And those are a completely waterproof unit, IP68. They can run submerged. Oh, wow. uh, there's no dust, no water incursion in them. Uh, lifetime warranty on the mechanicals of all of our units, three year warranty on the electrical in our. Uh, Seal Gen 2. That's big, a lifetime warranty. That's important. Yeah, Absolutely. awesome. Get into all the details on this baby. This is a competition winch. It has twin seven, seven horsepower motors. Let's get some light on it. It's an 8,000 pound capacity. This unit is, uh, again, for racing, and they're used a lot in the Rainforest Challenge, a lot in desert racing. This has about 160 feet per minute line speed. A conventional winch is 20 to 40 feet per minute. So this is very fast. Wow. So th this will win races for guys. <laughs> All helical cut gears. Um, it has an air clutch on it. So if you do need to disengage it to pay out the line, um, the driver can do it from inside. He can activate the clutch from inside to freewheel it. He can, he can pull, pull line in, let line out. Mm -hmm. So his co-driver can be out there pulling line out, hooking them up, and the driver can operate everything from inside the vehicle. All right, check this beast out. This is the Ford F-250 Wilderness Collective Edition. This thing is amazing. I know a couple of you guys on my channel requested that I come down here and check it out. And uh, yeah, this thing is nice. You know what I like about this thing? This thing is humongous, meaning that it has tons of room for all your family in that crew cab configuration tons of space in the truck bed for all your gear tons of power because it's an f-250 it's just huge and it's off-road capable man that's awesome overhauler utv <laughs> now that is one useful rack system that is wild you can just pretty much carry anything and put it in the back of your truck. Yeah. This one here is called the Ranger XLT Super Crew 4x4. Get that up. Uh, oh, yeah. it's uh, basically a truck box in the back. That's nice. I'm really starting to like truck box versions. You can carry so many tools and accessories in these boxes. I'm at SEMA and you see a lot of cars here, but there's a couple bikes here that are pretty impressive. Look at this thing. I guess it's by a company called Focus. Never heard of it, but look at this. It has a mid-drive motor at the front sprocket, so you can take advantage of all the gears in the back. You must get a ton of torque. The battery's in that down tube right there where it says Focus, the blue one. That's where the battery is. Uh, I would love to have that bike, man. It probably climbs mountains like a billy goat. That's awesome. I'm at the Traxxas booth at SEMA. Alright, so new for 2019 is the uh, four-wheel drive Rustler. Four-wheel drive Rustler. Look at the uh, suspension on this thing. This thing probably handles awesome in the dirt. Because I, I noticed that um, I can barely control my two-wheel drive. The two-wheel drive one just spins out all the time. So this would be a nice upgrade going to four-wheel drive. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, he stuck it. Did you see that? He made it. I'm at the XG cargo booth, and uh, this is cool. Look at this. So, if you own a Jeep, or any small SUV for that matter, storage is very, very uh, limited. But this company called XG Cargo makes some pretty interesting products. So, for, first off, look at this. They have a wall. It's like an accessory wall. They call it the storage wall. So, you strap this to your roll cage in a bunch of different locations inside. And now you have this entire back panel with storage compartments. And they're like buckled too. I like the fact that they're buckled so you, they will not pop open even if you roll upside down. <laughs> There's also a kind of a net thing going on there to protect stuff from flying forward. A couple pockets there, like slip pockets. And then you have molly straps, uh, like modified molly straps so you can attach uh, different types of accessories to that as well however you want so it's very modular check it out I'm at the HEMA booth at SEMA they got an awesome uh, surplus truck here with some LEDs look at that it's built into the uh, bumper that's just the ones in the bumper they have more underneath some on top and uh, light bars up there as well and look at this they even have um, I think that's an infrared camera because um, I see myself over there. See that? There's a screen right there. I believe that's infrared. So you could drive this thing at night. So you'd put the uh, screen receiver inside the cab so you can see where you're going. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this is a nice looking truck. This is big. It's been bobbed too. It's, uh, I believe it's a deuce and a half that's been bobbed. They cut off the rear. They used to have two axles. Now they only have one. All right, so I'm at the TJM 4x4 Equip booth at SEMA, and they officially have the coolest booth. Look at it. It's a, it's a saloon. I actually want to just walk in and get a beer. I got a Toyota 4Runner with all their stuff. I mean, these guys make a ton of products. It's incredible. And you know I had to stop by Patriot Campers. Justin, hey, tell the guys who you are and what you got, man. How you going, guys? Justin here from Patriot Campers. We're out here from Australia again, SEMA uh, 2018. We're back a little bit bigger this year. Yeah, um, you guys moved up. You were back there before. We were way down the back last year. We <laughs> now had the, you're over the, here. the uh, red carpet entrance with the black truck, and I think that turned a few heads, and we pulled yeah. a few strings, and we got pushed to the forward of the um, of the Upper South Hall. So nice. we're pretty pumped to be here. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah, yeah thank awesome. you very much. What do we got, man? So All right, what do we got? Where do we start? Um, come down this come down okay. this end first. We've got the, the X1 GT, 2018 model X1 <laughs> GT on display. Pretty exciting thing actually just happened this morning. We uh, entered the X1 into a global uh, media award and we've won. So oh, nice. Tonight we're going to the, the ceremony, they present you with a trophy and they get a whole heap of international judges together. They look at products um, that, that could be marketable on a global scale and they've chosen the X1 <laughs> GT and, and, it, and it's won the award. So we're well we're deserved, fun. man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you That's very awesome. much, man. So, yeah, the, the X1 that we ran through um, last year, we've got a big, uh, bigger boost, so we've got it fully set up this year. We've okay. got the awning deployed and the tent deployed. I haven't got the kids' room on it, but um, that's, that's a pretty standard thing that you're, okay. you're a bit familiar with now. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've gone through it before. Why yep. don't we do this, since we have a lot more subscribers, kind of just point out the, the basics of this trailer for okay. the guys who've never seen it before. Okay, so for the guys that have never yeah. seen it before, X1 GT is our flagship model. It's won Australian Camper Trailer of the Year five years in a row since I first designed it. Back in 2013, um, you've got your whole galley on your side, your kitchen, all stainless steel, Dometic 50 litre fridge, the new uh, Red, Vision, Red Vision from Red Arc, which I don't think you saw that last year. So this is a fully integrated system now into the X1. You've got your battery control, all your water levels, turn all your lights on. Everything is controlled by an app on your phone now. Oh, so wow. you can turn stereo on, lights on, and we're doing a little bit more integration for next year. Cool. This one's got the Webasto hot water system in it as well, so it's got diesel hot water on demand at the sink and, and in the shower. Kitchen area, you cook up with a grill. So you've got, you've got a lot of storage obviously in the X1 G2. King size awesome. mattress, we've got gel tops now on top in a mm -hmm. pocket uh, spring mattress, so it's super comfortable. And that's our flagship, but I think the most exciting thing for SEMA for us this year is over here. All right. What so we... we've teamed up with um, with EXO, uh, and uh, we built them uh, the Tundra. My head engineer Jack flew over here earlier uh, this year, 
and he helped the boys out in building the new P core system Ooh. on the back of uh, of the uh, the tundra for the for the show. Look at this tundra, man! That is beautiful. This is a platinum edition tundra. Icon wheels, icon suspension. Check it out, it's Clay from Expedition Overland. He's just hanging out over there. This must be actually his vehicle. Easy on roof rack. Look at this. So this is their, uh, it's like the cargo box bed. That is nice. It's like a transformer back here, man. Look at that. You got the sink, the stove, and um, I guess that's just cargo right there. You could just put whatever. And there's your Dometic fridge over there. Look at that, it just folds all up just like a transformer. It's so compact. Lock it up and then it pops back up. Look at that. That is so cool. Check out this waterproof air compressor. <laughs> That's impressive. It's by Clen Airhorns. Alright, so I'm at AEV at SEMA. They got a Colorado. This thing is badass, man. Check out the steel bumper. So these guys are famous for their bumpers. They got the little shorty bar on top, and a bar on the bottom, spot for a winch, skid plates on the bottom. Oh, little uh, bigger, uh, hooks. Look at that. Duramax diesel. AEV wheels. I believe that's their sliders too. And there's their famous snorkel. It's nice that they're making them for uh, the Chevy. Colorado. Look at that. Now, we saw this last year at SEMA on that, uh, it was like a desert sand colored truck. And it's cool how the bar comes all the way back to protect all this portion of the body. That's nice. Look at that. 40 inch wheels with no lift. That's the big claim to fame with these guys. You can run 40 inch tires with no lift. <laughs> I think you got to do a little bit of cutting, but they uh, they have their fender flares here. You ever wonder what it looked looks like inside of a differential? Look at those planetary gears. Lock. Yep. It's locked up. Got a little uh, air compressor there. This high pressure line locks up this gear right here. See that? You can see it move right there. See that? Look at this new JL. Everybody's got a new JL this year. Anybody who's anybody's got a new JL. Look at that bumper, man. That's cool. Little tiny stinger bumper. It's like a little tiny mini stinger. Just enough to protect your uh, your winch. LEDs in there. Look at this. That's cool. Nice doors. I like those handles. Little tiny fire extinguishers. That's nice. I'm at the Quick Fist Tool Mounting Clamps booth at SEMA, and uh, this will probably come in handy to a lot of you guys out there. Think about to mount something to your vehicle. Fire extinguishers, propane, shovels. I mean, literally anything. You can get like cooler, scuba tanks, cables. Look at that. You could manage all your stuff by using these mounts. That's pretty cool. Check out these doors at the Best Top booth. It's pretty nice. They actually have covers you can put in here to keep the dust out. Watch this. 
to open this up and your rock sliders or rocker panels become your step. You can just step right there and then when you close it, close it, pops right back up out of the way. You can go rock crawling again. So here's what the doors look like when they have the covers on. So you can keep the rain and the dust out and have a traditional door or you can take them off. And it's not all about cars. There's some amazing safes here. Look at this, this is gorgeous. It's like a work of art. But uh, yeah, these guys make everything from the big, huge safes to the little tiny ones. If you wanna put this on your bedside, just throw a gun in there, your wallet, whatever. They have little to big and everything in between. And they even have uh, tool chests. This one's going out to all you first responders, firefighters, paramedics, EMTs. Look at this thing, man. This is a Nissan Titan with the Cummins turbo diesel V8. This one's lifted with all kinds of cool parts on it. Stealth fighter bumper, Baja LEDs. There we go again with the uh, LED pod lights from Baja Design. Warren Winch in the front. You got a lift on here. Let's see if we can see who the lift is by. Icon. Icon did the lift. Icon wheels. Rhino rack up top with more LEDs from Baja. I think those are Pelican cases. But here's the thing that's really cool, man. Look at this. There's this uh, cargo box in the back. It's almost like an ambulance. You got tons of space for everything you need here. Tons and tons of space. There's your steps to get in. Tons and tons. It says disaster relief. So you could use this vehicle to get into tough areas where uh, there's no roads for the most part. You have to go off-road to get to people. It's got an airbag suspension, look at that. But yeah, you can bring all kinds of gear. Probably the essentials like food, water, and medical supplies. I like how the uh, pop top up there opens up for headroom. That is cool, man. I wish you could see inside. Very, very cool. Look at this Titan over here. This one's for all the uh, animal rescue folks out there. If you love dogs and cats and all kinds of animals like Ace Ventura does. <laughs> I've never seen a bumper like this before on any truck, let alone a Nissan Titan. That's cool. It comes way up. I mean, really high up here. I think the only other bumper I've ever seen like that was like a, maybe a ranch hand or something. Or maybe a road armor, but this one, I don't even know who makes this. There's no branding on it. I like it though. It's big. A big bumper for a big truck. Next and tires. This is the gas V8 on this one, not the Cummins. Mobile Animal Rescue. You got the uh, truck bed cage in the back. Looks like you got a inflatable boat back here so you can go rescue some animals that are stuck in the river or a lake or whatever gunner kennels bit slide that's nice it's got to be the coolest animal rescue vehicle i've ever seen you see incredible things at sema i'm at a booth called rego4x4.com and this Jeep caught my eye. Look at this. So when you when you see this Jeep, right away you see something that sticks out. It has independent suspension. Look at that. If you look closely at this, it's not just independent suspension. They also incorporated um, portal axles. If you look right there. So how it's set up is the portal axles have the gear reduction there. And then the shaft actually goes opposite across to here. So you have a long travel for your uh, suspension. That's incredible. Because normally you'd have a short um, shaft right here, but it's actually a long shaft that goes way over here to the portal. This is cool. So this is a Nissan Patrol. I don't think they sell these in America. I've never seen a Patrol here in, uh, in the United States anyways. Probably uh, in South America, because it is still left-hand drive like you would see out here. 
So it's not from it's not from Europe. That's cool, man. Look at this thing. Oz four-wheel drive. Damn it, Nissan! You guys need to sell this in America. I even like the back here. Look, it's got like barn doors. One opens this way, and the other one opens this way. See, there's the uh, there's the name right there, Patrol. That's nice, man. Wow, check this out. Toyota Hilux. You don't see these in America, at least not in North America anyways. Maybe in South America. I like that bumper. Saw it on a Jeep before. They have a version for the Hilux. That's beautiful. I wish they sold this model out here. The way the front end, it just looks different. You know what it is? is I guess whatever you can't have is what you want. <laughs> That's what it is. That's nice. Wow, look at this Go Rhino Jeep. That's nice. I like their bumper. That's the one that has the tray in the front. I like that. I don't know about this. Seems like guys will just bust those off right away. <laughs> you go through the forest and uh, branch will come up and just knock that off. Yikes, that's a lot of LEDs. Las Vegas, where are you from? <laughs> Check out this uh, JL with the Skyjacker lift. This is a Jeep Commando, they're calling it, I guess. Oh, yeah, because it's got the longer body, Jeep Commando. This is uh, the Roamer. That's cool. Look how much room it has back here. Instead of having a regular two-door, it's like you have a four-door size Jeep but with only two drawers. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that Poison Spider tire carrier. That is cool. I may have mentioned this before, but I really like the, these kind of tire carriers because they do double duty. For one, they carry your tire, which is nice, but it also protects your entire rear end. So if you're bombing through the desert and you got a chase vehicle or some guy following you too close, maybe a buddy or whatever, and he doesn't see you in the dust, boom, you hit back here, you're okay. <laughs> Your vehicle's not going to get destroyed. You got all that armor back there. That's cool. Napier booth at SEMA. Check this one out. Check out this. Basically a vehicle tent. You can get access to all your gear, so maybe you have a bunch of stuff in there you want quick access to, or maybe you even have people sleeping in there. Then you can sleep out here as well. That's cool. I actually um, did a full review on one of these. They sent one out to me and uh, I used it at Overland Expo. Came in really handy. I used it on a regular car. I used it on an SUV. I used it on a van. It fits a lot of vehicles. And then if you really want to go entry level and doable for everybody, Pay a couple hundred bucks and get this uh, truck bed tent. You can camp anywhere. And the cool thing about this is if you have to move right away, just put the keys in and move your vehicle. Because this is off the ground. It's a lot of room in there, look at that. I had to stop by Dometic because these guys pretty much are the kings of refrigerators at this show. Right here behind me, first thing you're gonna see is this special edition CFX 75. This is all black. They're only gonna make 750 of these. It's gonna be a really limited production run. Cool. You get this just really, you know, awesome new look to it. Blacked out logos. Uh, you have your special edition uh, name plate on there as well. So only again, 750 of them. An awesome new kind of neural handle as well. And sitting next to it is the new PLB40 portable lithium battery. Ooh, that's hey, big. Absolutely, so it's 14 pound lithium iron phosphate battery, 40 amp hour capacity, designed to run the fridges for a long weekend, no problem. So so how long can you run this with this? So the fridges generally are gonna pull less than an amp an hour. Right. So with a 40 amp hour rating, estimation is, yeah. you, know, you can easily go through the long weekend without having any That's problems. That's nice, That's really nice. Absolutely. Uh, it also allows you to uh, charge the battery off of the vehicle. Because it's lithium iron, mm -hmm. it's a more stable, more power dense option. Uh, so it can be charged off a of 12 volt or solar really easily. On the back here, you have your AC port for your uh, 
home outlet, so charges in five hours off of a, a 110 outlet, oh, nice. or the Anderson plug there, so you can charge that from the vehicle directly or from a solar panel. Ooh. What am I looking at over there? Uh, so it's uh, some of the rotor roto molded coolers as well. This so, is yours? These yeah. are your guys's? Yeah, so Dometic makes all sorts of products. Ah, I didn't well. even know you guys did this. Talk, talk about this, because I know there's guys interested in these as well. Uh, it's just another good option if, if um, you know, for us here in this market, we're talking about the, the mobile cooling options. Ice can be a pain sometimes, but yeah. if you're uh, necessarily looking for something that's tried and true as well, it's, it's a, a really good option for the roto molded cooler. Uh, again, there's quite a few of these on the market, but yeah. Uh, Dometic knows a lot about refrigeration. I actually like that you guys are doing this as well mm -hmm. for the guys that don't want, you know, all the uh, electronics. They just mm -hmm. want to go old school. You guys offer that too. That is yeah, great. Uh, I like to joke that, uh, you know, easily keep your food in a fridge. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if you're fishing or things like that, mm -hmm. you need to keep uh, anything a little gamey. <laughs> Ice is kind of hard to beat. When it yeah, that's to true. Now, the vehicles get all the attention, but sometimes it's the accessories that you got to look at. I got Jimmy here. Introduce yourself to the world and tell them what you got. How's it going, guys? My name is Jimmy, and I'm with Trailer Valet here. And uh, right here, what you can see for starting is our RVR model. And this is our 5,500 pound weight class model. It comes in three different weight classes, being 300, 350 pound tongue weight, and then 3,500 pound towing capacity, and then 550 pound tongue weight, which is this unit here, and then 5,500 towing capacity, and then it goes up to our 9,000 pound towing capacity model. Wow. And it handles 1,000 pound tongue weight. And you move it with this little controller that you see right here. Go for it. So turn it on, and. Oh, wow. Look at that. So let me back up and get a shot of this thing moving here. So it has excellent precise moving turning radius. Yeah, that's awesome. It also has a, a mount bracket accessory, so if you choose to mount on the tongue of your trailer, you can do that as well. It uh, works excellent on uneven terrains. You know, you know what's funny is um, I could see this coming in handy for like someone who has maybe a handicap, a disability, Absolutely. an injury. Because I've camped before, I told you off camera, I camped with a trailer just like this. And I can move it around, but I'm perfectly healthy. Right. But maybe like my wife, she injured, injured her hand. She would never be able to move one of these things right. around. One of the advantages to the RBR is you don't really need any help moving your trailer. You yeah. can literally move around your trailer by yourself with just this controller. You That's do cool. any manual operation of it except for pushing the button. That is it. That's the only thing that you do. This right here caught my eye. So this company here is called Moon Buggy LLC. Actually their website is gonna be moon-buggy.com. And uh, they make these cool little buggies. You know, I got three kids, so I'm always thinking about them. And we're always camping and out in the outdoors and always looking for st stuff for them to do. And this fits right up my alley right here. So check this out. So it's got this uh, steel frame and long travel suspension. So unlike a regular go-kart, this has a long travel suspension with uh, pneumatic tires that are relatively big. And there's uh, these urethane bushings in there that give you resistance. So you actually get some travel in here, as you can see. Look at that. Get some travel. Got a nice protection in the front, so in case you crash into anything, you don't have to worry about messing up your legs. There's your steering right there, pretty simple stuff. It's got disc brakes, if you look right there. Mechanical disc brakes. I'm sure you can upgrade those to uh, hydraulic if you wanted to. And then in the back, there's just a little tiny lawnmower engine. Pumps out about four horsepower. It's enough to get you up to speed, for kids anyways, um, 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's all you really need. You can of course tweak with the governor and get that thing up even faster if you're a mechanical type guy. Now you could even swap the motors out and go with a big old Predator engine from Harbor Freight if you wanted to. So I'm at the decked booth. I've seen these guys all over SEMA. Seems like everybody's running these guys' uh, cargo boxes in the back. And the reason why is because 
a couple reasons. For one, they're full synthetic. There's no wood involved. And it actually can hold 2,000 pounds of weight on top of this thing here. So it's super strong. And then uh, they have these drawers that have these really beefy handles to pull out here and they slide all the way out like that. Tons of room in there. Each one of these drawers can hold 200 pounds. So really strong stuff. And if you look, they have these dividers that you can customize. Um, when you buy them, they don't come with any of the uh, dividers. You have to order them separately. And the reason why is because they don't know how you're going to use these things. So if you have long guns or, I don't know, tripods and long equipment, you don't need a lot of that stuff. So it's something you have to order separately. But um, as you can see, they lock into place so when you're driving around, they don't move. And you can also lock it with a key. Pretty cool stuff. And as you guys know, I cover a lot of Overland stuff. I saw Black Series at Overland Expo uh, a couple months back. And I got Jeff here who's going to tell you all about this one here because this one's pretty amazing. Go for it. Okay, well, this is our Dominator Series. It's our products are originally designed in Australia. They've been selling them there for 12 years. We just brought them here to the States. It's uh, set up with a steel frame, an independent 20,000 pound suspension. So the hitch allows you to twist and turn it up and down. It has a Y that comes out of your receiver instead of a ball and then spin. So that way you can... So there's no binding whatsoever no binding with this. It's yeah, fully so articulated. The trailer could be going left and your, your vehicle could be turning right. And it'll, nice. It'll ride with you. Heavy steel frame. Parking beefy. brake. So if you did get stuck before you chalk your wheels, you can stop it from pulling your rig back. Nice. We've got a Dometic 12 volt freezer. Can we pull it out? Freezer. Pulls it out. That's the big boy right here. Yeah, this is the dual, the, the dual zone one. Yeah, How many people can sleep in here? Four. Four comfortably. Okay. Two there, two there. I could probably fit my three kids over here, and me and uh, my wife can be over here. <laughs> Talk about this setup here. So What's going on kitchens, here? All of our products come with this outdoor kitchen. It slides out. It's got a freshwater sink. Plugs in there. There's a pump that could be in the 35 gallon water tank and a pump. And that, uh, you know, some pump water. And then it's got the propane is piped to this. There's a hose you connect there after you slide it out. It's give you a three burner Dometic stove. Two spares, because in Australia, yeah. Australia, it's 800 miles of the nearest tire repair. Yeah, I noticed that, that all the Australians run dual everything for the most part, yeah. Because you're a long ways away. <laughs> That's awesome. One of you guys out there told me to stop by the Expedition One booth, check out this specific truck. Uh, we got a front bumper. We have different. Uh, what's unique about this is it's three pieces. Uh, the wings actually are different uh, sizes, so this one matches the AV uh, fender flares. Okay, we make cool. that as well under our Mulex uh, Mule Equipped brand. Nice. And what? The whole light bars. It'll. Uh, we have mounting accessories. You can mount stuff on the side. Yeah. So this is our bed rack system. It's no drilling involved, so it just clamps onto your bed, your bed railing there, and then it's different tower height. Uh, height. So this is our large one for full-size trucks. Uh, we have medium ones, but they're all adjustable to a certain degree. So if you have a tent you want to match with your cab, you can do that. All right, what's going on back here? Uh, moving back to the rear is our dual swing uh, rear bumper. Uh, what's actually unique about this is you don't see this very often, but we have a new latch system here. Go for it. And you just pull up and out, and that's all you do. And it's got a 40 inch tire, so it'll hold a lot of weight. That is a beast, yeah. And uh, yeah, so there's our system. It's fully uh, adjustable, fully uh, uh, rebuildable too. So it, over a couple years, you can replace the components and it'll be like new again. Oh, that's nice. And then, uh, yeah, you'll just close it. Oh, it locks open as well. That's cool. Yeah. And you just close this guy. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about Colorados because they're the new hotness. They're all over SEMA everywhere. And you guys make a bunch of stuff for it. So go yeah. for it. Tell me what you got. Yeah, so this year we want to introduce a new front bumper. Uh, this one we have the full bull bar set up, but you can go without hoops or you can go with a single hoop. Uh, but on this, yeah, we wanted to, to represent the full uh, bull bar style. I like this design, how it comes up and kind of follows the lines. Yeah, we want to make sure we did follow the lines and not uh, cover up too much of the grill. Get that airflow still, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's got really good high clearance. You know, you've got the clearance for, uh, for yeah, that approach angle is nice, man. Exactly, yeah. Opens it up. And, uh, yeah, we were, we got a come up winch in there with Pia lights uh, all the way around. Oh and, yeah. Uh, we uh, opted for uh, 33 inch tires. Is uh, what we went with, and 
it's a, uh, a front uh, leveling kit for this build right now. Nice. I see you uh, have a come up winch in there. I just did a video for those guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like how it like again matches the top of the roof here. A lot of these roof racks are just flat and it doesn't aesthetically look as nice as these ones do. Yeah, we take a lot of a lot of a lot of care and uh, making sure all the racks are specific to the vehicle and the way that the body uh, curves around. So our roof rack will try to match that as much as possible. Oh, I like that. Look at this. Yeah, that's another big complaint with um, racks is they make a lot of noise, but yours is aerodynamic, man. Exactly. I like that. Yo, this right out. That's nice. Here, I'll, I'll get this one. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Got a jerry can holder. So I'm assuming this, oh, it automatically locks too. That's cool. Locks. For safety. It's universal hole plating there, so you can put whatever you need on it. And if you guys remember a couple years ago, I filmed this booth, AFN, out of Portugal. And uh, they have really cool stuff here. So they have the new Ford Ranger. And they have a ton of stuff. They, got, they may actually make a lot of stuff in Portugal. They're a European company, and uh, I actually really like their style, man. Look at all these skid plates and stuff. So let's start from the front. This is their bumper, and it follows the lines of the Ford Ranger perfectly. And it comes up, you get that high angle there, so you can get freedom from getting smashed by rocks and trees. That's nice. Look at that. That's a lot of work going on here little cutouts for LED lights there's a grill there to let air pass through tons of slots for um, LEDs oh they even have their own LEDs as well these are AFN LEDs very nice so if you want to protect the bottom of your vehicle look at that it goes all the way to the rear and then look at this this is awesome so this is like a um, I don't know what you call this, a utility truck bed. So you would take off your truck bed and put this truck bed on there. It's all aluminum. And it's essentially like you, you get all the utility of a flatbed to carry cargo. You can do whatever you want in here. It's totally modular. Put slide-ins and boxes and whatever. But uh, it's got these doors here that have these uh, hydraulic arms that keep it up. And they also lock and it's waterproof and as you can see i'm standing underneath it it actually acts as a little mini awning as well so you can stay out of the rain if it's wet raining very nice and then look at this this is a prototype barbecue it's a little folding portable stainless steel barbecue and i was talking to the uh the reps and they said that um you just throw your coals inside there. It's got vents on the bottom. And you can grill anywhere you want for the most part. Here's another look at it over here in the light. Pretty cool. And it folds all up into this little compact package. You know I had to stop by the James Baroud booth. These guys are pretty much legends by now when it comes to rooftop tents. They're kind of like the big dogs, the leaders in the industry. A lot of people will you know they know about them because they've been around for like 20 25 years or something like that matter of fact i remember seeing this series 80s lens cruiser outside uh during um the setup but uh yeah so let's fly around james baroud's booth uh if you don't know they're famous for fiberglass pop-up rooftop tents they're lightweight extremely fast to deploy i mean i'm talking like seconds boom it pops up and uh, they have all kinds of different uh sizes they are pricey, they're made in Europe, and uh, you're gonna spend a couple grand for these, if not even more. I mean, like for instance, this one here, this is the biggest one they make. You can sleep three adults in here, or in my case, two adults and a couple kids. <laughs> but this is like $4,500, which may seem like a lot of money, but when you think about how often you're gonna use it, and what it does, it protects your whole family from the sun, from the rain, from the wind. It actually is probably worth every penny. And it's also gonna last a lifetime. You know, some of these tents are made in China, not these ones, but some tents are made in China, not not in China. I'm just saying the quality is not, not there, but these, this is literally the best you could possibly buy. So if you're a professional, like a photographer that's always out in the elements, you might wanna invest in something that's gonna be, you know, 
durable and gonna last you forever. Or if you're a family like me that, that's always playing around in these things, you want something you can beat up on and it's gonna last a long time. Let's take a look inside. So if you look closely at this thing, the bottom shell here, it's all fiberglass, but it's all reinforced. You have these aluminum rails, and that's how you lock it onto your roof rack. And this thing can hold, like I said, it can hold three adults in there, no problem, without any issues. And then uh, it's got these arms that actually help the roof pop up and stay up. Uh, the material on the side here, this is all waterproof as well. The material here has some kind of aluminum material blended into the the fabric to keep it uh, waterproof for one and also it reflects heat as well so the sun doesn't actually you know burn you up inside there but on the flip side if you want air to go through the, you can open up um, all three sides so you have this side that you enter and then over here you have a big humongous hole for air to pass through if it's hot they also have solar powered fans in the in the uh, roof there so you don't have to worry about you know recharging batteries and then uh, there's cargo nets to hold all your gear here's a better shot of that here's a smaller version got all these cargo nets there's a shot of that fan right there and these these uh, cushions are pretty comfy uh, i'd say that's about two inches thick maybe and um Another thing to notice too is these things are so light you can actually mount it on a Mini Cooper. You can't really do that with some of the big heavy duty aluminum built. Like some of these rooftop tents are made out of aluminum and they're super heavy. This one here is super light. How the heck do you get that thing in, in there? Ride it man. <laughs> Ride it. Just, just get it up in there, yeah. No, I mean, uh, I, do, I have an ATV winch that mounts on the back side oh, of the that makes roof sense. rack. Okay, that you makes sense. You hook the winch up to it and it sucks it up and you strap it down. That makes sense. Okay, because I'm like, I don't, I, I couldn't I didn't do leave it. Leave the winch on there because <laughs> I didn't have time to run all the wires for oh, okay. it. Okay. So I just took it off. You're like, I'll just let people ask me when I get to the show. <laughs> it's with me and Margo we just talk about it. Yeah. One question people ask. Yeah. Because that bike obviously looks pretty heavy and. You'd have to either have two guys ratcheting at the same time no, or have a winch. <laughs> you, you winch it up and then yeah. you snatch it down. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. Check it out. I'm at the Oxbeam booth at SEMA. I actually run their um, LED lights on my car. So uh, I'm not exactly sure which model I have. I think it might be this one here. I'm not sure. I have a little small 12 inch LED light bar. Right. They make all kinds of stuff though. Tons and tons of LEDs. And then they make switches as well, tons of switches. They got LED replacements for your headlights. And uh, the ones that I had on my Xterra were really bright, man. I'm just like super impressed with the ones that I got. I wouldn't mind uh, trying some more of their uh, replacement LEDs. And they're not very expensive either. They're actually really affordable. Now here's something I've never seen before. This is called the Warrior 800, built by a company called Massimo. It's basically a UTV. Normally it has wheels on it, but this one has tracks for snow, mud, and sand. And it says that it's made in Texas. That's a big ass tire. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm at SEMA, and you see some cool vehicles at this show. And uh, this one here caught my eye because look at the engine here. Actually, it's not an engine. It's a motor, I guess. But, um, it's actually the battery. Right? Oh, that, oh, okay. There you go. Well, you know what? Got Chad here. Tell me all about what's going on with this vehicle. All right. So we have this um, 2014 Subaru Forester. It's a turbo originally, but we completely gutted it. Took the engine out and all the transmission stuff. And uh, well, we built three 15-model uh, battery packs. Wow. And we have... We don't want to knock power, so we put a motor for every wheel, and we put a gearbox in the front and the back. Oh, so wow. So direct drive, get a little bit more power. We're actually looking at about 540 horsepower. Nice. And How much torque? 
about nine, uh, 9,200 Newton meters. I can't remember how that translates to foot. Yeah, what does that translate to? I think it's about <laughs> 6,300 foot pounds. Okay, that's that's good, man. That's awesome. That's the benefits of going with electric, though, right? Because yeah. you got all that torque instantly. Right. That's cool. And then there's a motor in every wheel. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, the idea for this is to make the fully autonomous electric. Off oh, it's autonomous as well. Well, it's not yet. But oh, but it will next, be. That's going to be the next. Oh, range. that's what these are. These yeah, are yeah. We have two light orders attached. To oh yeah, I see it up there. Yeah. yeah. What kind of performance are we getting out of this as far as like range? I mean, I guess it depends on how hard you drive it too, right? Right, right. Yeah. So right now the projected range for a fully charged battery pack is going to be um, 240 miles. Wow. Yeah. That's um, pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, how long does it take to recharge those batteries? Well, that's actually another thing we're doing. Standard charging time would have been 30 hours for these battery packs, mm -hmm. but we're actually setting it up for DC fast charge, which is going to be about two hours. Nice. Very nice. I'm at a booth called Sherp. These guys out of uh, Ukraine. You may have seen YouTube videos of this uh, amphibious vehicle going uh, in water, mud, sand, everything. But uh, here it is. I'm seeing it in person for the first time. So it's basically an amphibious uh, four or four wheel drive vehicle. Yeah. I mean, it's not a military vehicle like some people would think. It's actually just a recreational amphibious vehicle. And uh, it is powered by a, a little uh, diesel engine made by Kubota, Japanese company. So it's reliable. And there's no electronics. The uh, engine is fully mechanical. Look at that. So you step in through here in the front. Seats two. The controls are kind of like a tank. That's wild. Let's see if I can fit this whole thing in here. So there you have it. That's the Sherp. So this is the behind the scenes shot of the uh, rollout. This is the beginning of the uh, vehicle parade at SEMA. We're like in the back areas. There's a Kia Stinger. Hey, look, they're coming out of the showroom right there. That's inside the show. Coming out here. Look at that thing, man. What is that? It looks like a stealth fighter. That's pretty nuts. It looks like a distorted, like, um, forerunner. I don't know what it's made out of. But whatever it is, it's humongous. McLaren just cruising by. Like it's not even a big deal. All right, so here's the grandstands for uh, Sumo Ignited Parade. Looks like they uh, blocked off the entire street here. That's cool. Did you have to enter there? I have no idea where we got to go. All right, let's go where the balloon is. All right, so we are officially inside SEMA Ignited. I highly suggest you come early because the, the crowds are insane. It's crazy. Looks like they have motorcycle jumps over here. They're rolling in right here. Look at that one. Scochi. Ooh, I want this one right here. Let's go camping. That's what mommy wants to camp. I know, man. That's my kind of camping right there. That's the four wheel drive uh, Challenger. That's big wheels. Yeah, he put a, a Durango. They put a Durango four wheel drive. This is the Polaris Dagger right here. Hi right, guys, so there you have it. That again. is just Please a little sneak peek of uh, Sumo Ignited. I didn't stay for the whole show all right, at all the right, family. It's time to go Thank eat. We've got to feed everybody. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed all the videos. And uh, like usual, leave a like to support my channel. Enjoy and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think vehicle, about the my time at SEMA. Have a good one. He's on a sweet hot rod called the Easy Go.